This is my claymation set, and this is my claymation. So what stop motion is, is just an ex exploitation of what makes video work. So video is really just 24, 30, 60 frames a second being shown to you in succession. So there's just a lot of pictures. Sometimes these pictures are interlaced. More and more often now they're progressive. They're actually just picture, picture, picture shown to you in a certain order. Well, that's all stop motion is. And instead of a video taking a sequence of pictures that is in actual succession to each other. Stop motion is just taking one picture at a time. It's like time lapse. It's just taking a picture, waiting a while, and taking another picture. And you can exploit that because if you take something and you move it just a little bit, and then you take a picture of it, and then you move it just a little bit again, and then you take a picture of it, and then you move it just a little bit again, and then you take a picture of it. For our sake, let's just put it on a tripod. Put your camera on a tripod get a subject, move it just a little bit at a time, and then you put those pictures in your editing software at just one frame, a few frames, something that tricks your eye into motion. So you don't necessarily have to do 24 frames per second, but that's a good rule of thumb. Be thinking, it's gonna be 24 little moves for a second. If I want this candy cane to spin around, I'm gonna have to make it take 24 pictures for every second of video I want. So if it's going to take three seconds to complete the revolution, then I'm going to need three times 24. This is just a black sheet that I have. And uh, the black sheet is, is cool because it, it's, it's, it gives us kind of infinity black look, the way they have it curved. That's just a light. It's a nice video light. It cost me like over 100 bucks. Not super nice though. Affordable. If you're doing a lot of video, I would suggest getting it. Uh, this is my tripod where my camera would be. If you notice, the light is directly above my camera. That's because the light directly above and down at the camera will actually create a, a, an effect. Let me show you. For this kind of setup, I have the light being behind the camera, directly behind it, slightly above it, and going over and down from directly behind the camera. And that gave me the kind of lighting that you saw in the video. Digital cameras, especially nicer ones these days, will have a remote. That's what I used to make this happen. While my camera was up here on the tripod, I just, I would move something just a bit, and then I'd hit this photo button, and then I'd move it just a bit, and then I'd hit this photo button. Now, that is how I got each frame of the claymation. You can start to see how this is coming together. Make sure you're using manual settings. Even if you have trouble, if you're not a manual settings kind of person, you have to use manual settings. You can let automatic settings kind of choose for you and then switch to manual, whatever you gotta do. But if you don't use manual settings, your camera's gonna, every single time a cloud moves over the sun, your camera's gonna reset up its entire setup and, and give you a completely different style picture, and your is gonna look really choppy. You need consistent light. Try and do it away from windows or where windows aren't really heavily affecting it, and use that consistent light and consistent camera settings to just get a picture and a picture and a picture. Now the hard part for a lot of people is actually finding that right editing software. Now other editors will work for this as well, and if you're into claymations, like really, really into them, there are some softwares that are particular for editing claymations, and there are also some apps for your phone if you're just looking to try it one time. And if you're a video editor that's looking to learn video editing and learn stop motion, and you just want that as a feature, I highly suggest Vegas Creative Software products like Vegas Pro or Movie Studios. Movie Studios is what we're going to be using as the cheaper version. Okay, so we're going to open up Movie Studio 16 Platinum, and we're going to edit our claymation. All right, if you're new to Movie Studio in general, or Vegas Creative Software in general, I got tutorials for Vegas Pro Movie Studios. You can do it in both softwares. Uh, so if you want to know more about that, check out those. For this one, what you're going to do is you're just going to select the track that you want it in. Uh, just select the video track for our purposes here. And uh, when you have the video track selected, then go to Insert right here at the top go to slideshow and you're gonna insert a slideshow that's gonna make this window right here pop up and we're gonna add pictures to it here I have my picture sequence for my claymation this is just where I dumped all the files from my camera to this folder 
And you can see the camera's done something really cool for us. It's numbered these. It's in a sequence. We know exactly which one came when. And if, as long as you delete any mistakes out, you don't have to change a thing, uh, but you can do that. You can easily do any editing once you get it in here. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight all of these, the whole thing, and then we're gonna open it. And it's gonna take just a second, but then you got all the frames for your claymation right here. Now, I, it's just kind of meant for a slideshow, but you can very easily turn it into what you need to turn it into. Uh, right here, I have start at, you can have start at cursor or start at zero, 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 zero. What that is, that's your timeline. So if you have start at zero or whatever, you can put in the part of the timeline where you want the, the slideshow to inject itself, or you can hit start at cursor, and your cursor is this line right here. Wherever you clicked on the timeline, and that line is, you can have it inject at the cursor if you have that radio dial selected. We're going to hit start at zero because we want to start at the very beginning of the timeline. And then the duration, uh, it's going to, right now, it's going to have every picture show for three seconds at a time. And that's great for a slideshow, but we're doing something different. What we're going to do is we're going to make it really, really fast. And we're going to show it for. 2050 right here and then we're gonna go back to that radio box and back here and it's gonna reset the time length and it's, every picture is gonna be up for 0.19 seconds. This is a little different. I found this box a little tricky. It's a little different than just uh, frames. Uh, this isn't quite one-to-one -one with your timeline here. Uh, so really you need to go by this number this time per picture seconds uh, because you can do some math if you want 24 frames a second if you want to go a little slower a little faster you can notice here too it also changed uh, the number a little bit to something that's more friendly to how it's going to import it that's okay as long as your number here is what within your parameters Google search can tell you exactly what you're looking for as far as frames and seconds a claymation is a little different. You can actually get away with having less than 24 frames a second, uh, and it still kind of has that choppy appearance. As long as you're okay with that, with that uh, kind of childish claymation feel, where it's a little choppy. If you want it to be like Coraline, then you need to be very, very, very exact, uh, and that is something that is beyond the scope of this video. Once you get your time here, uh, then all you need to do is go down to your effect and just hit. Pick one. Uh, you don't want to try and add a random effect to everything, but if you're not really going to be doing a transition effect. This is not a slideshow. You're actually going to go over here to the overlap and you're going to make it none. You want all of these photos to just lay next to each other. And then you just hit create. Now look at this. We've got a claymation right here on the timeline thing. And you can do some editing to this. So, one thing you're going to notice is that these. These, uh, uh, this went into the picture and picture frame. Uh, I, I want you to, to realize that if you're using movie studios, this, this track right here is kind of tricky. So that's why it's actually smaller than it's supposed to be. So we're going to delete the picture and picture track. And then we're going to do it again, have the video track highlighted, and then hit create. See, look at that. Now it's the right size. And it just shows your pictures in sequence. It's like a flip book. It's really simple. And you can be done if you want to. Render it out. You can add music. There's tons of tracks you can add music and audio effects to. You can uh, just get Foley art, make your own Foley art, and put it under here and do the sound effects. You have full video editing tools. You can add text and titles and everything you want. And if you need more information about how to do that, check out my other videos. But that is how to do stop motion in all Vegas creative software, movie studios, platform, um, I can't tell you if Less Than Movie Studios Platinum has it, because I don't have Less Than Movie Studios Platinum, but I can tell you that Movie Studios Platinum has it, and Vegas Pro has it. If you buy the software through my affiliates link, that really helps me out. I love making tutorials like this, where I can show people some new skills that they may not know, or help them learn maybe a different way to do the skills they already know. Comment below if you have an idea for me, and I will see what I can do. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.